Hi and welcome back to another Football Shirt Review. Today we are looking at the USA World Cup Qatar 22 shirt. And this shirt was purchased from FC24 store. All details for the seller can be found in the description. And this shirt took 10 days to arrive from the point of being dispatched. The shirt comes in a standard night bag. On the flip side we have our usual health warnings. We'll show it slightly creased in the bag. We'll fold it over, sorry. Really looking forward to seeing this one. And I know a couple of people have asked me for a USA shirt. So I thought I'd get this video recorded and get it uploaded as soon as I could. As I say, this shirt is from FC24 store. All details of the seller can be found in the description. If you are new around here, hit the subscribe button as I do these reviews on a weekly basis. Obviously, leave any comments, questions, and messages below. I will always respond to you. Those questions could be around this shirt or any shirt that you'd like me to review or even about the seller. So what we'll do is we'll get this bag open and let's have a look at the USA World Cup 22 Qatar shirt. Okay, starting around the collar line. And there, I'll just jump out straight away. There we have our Nike template. And if you are um, one of my subscribers, you'll know I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, just because it's the same on every shirt. Let's have some a bit different. Got a red and blue stripe down here, so the colours of the US, and we've got the FIFA World Cup Qatar badge that's been heat pressed on the sleeve and a Nike tick. Which I'm strange, um, surprises that way around. Um, maybe that's the way it's meant to be, I don't know. If anybody does, please let me know in the comments. The USA badge has been embroidered on, and that's gone on really nicely. And then on this side, we have our living football FIFA and the night tick, which is the right way around on this side. I assume that is the right way around and it's just the way that um, it's been put on there. But yeah, someone let me know. I'm just gonna zoom out because I really like the USA shirt. Um, I've always had a, um, a thing for these shirts. I think it's because it's actually just it's quite plain, um, but it's really nice. Jumping down to the bottom, we have our little indents like we do have on all the other Nike shirts. Here's our engineered tag, which has been pressed on, and there's the other part for the cutout. Just looking under the arms, looks nice. We'll have a look at that in more detail when we flip it inside out. Let's just zoom out and give you that full overview. Really like how clean this shirt is. So let's flip it over and let's have a look at the back. Okay, as we're on the back, there's not a lot really to look at. It is quite bare. Um, again, we have our blue part there um, which I say I'm not a big fan of but hey ho shirt is plain I've got no names or anything on the back of it which is what I tend to do and at the bottom looking at our hemline looks nice it's been put on well if I move my hand there this is the fans version so it's not see-through um, but you can just about make out my hand when I get the light when I get the light right so this is the fans not the player one which is why we have everything has been embroidered on all right we'll flip it over and we'll look inside okay we're now on the inside and FC24 store shirts usually are really really good on where the stitching is so it's a slight little bit there but I wouldn't be overly worried by that. Here's where the patch has been heat pressed on, no creases, and the night tick has gone on really well. The USA badge, again, absolutely fantastic. Looks really, really smart, that. And our final patch on this side. There's a slight crease there, but I think that's just the material. And again, the night tick looks fantastic. Coming down to the bottom, we have our usual washing instructions. Remember, hand wash only on these sort of shirts and also flip it inside out. Is that engineered? It's been pressed on again really well. That corner looks nice. And so does that one. Like I said, FC24 shirts usually have absolutely amazing stitching and this is no different. Really, really impressed. Let's just give you that full overview and then we'll have a look at the final side. Okay, let's hope our stitching continues, which, yeah, I've got no concerns over that. Very, very limited loose threading on these shirts. They've really stepped up the game. This year's shirts in particular have been really good. 
We have our Nike dry fit heat pressed on. It says XL, but it's going to be more like the large because we do always recommend sizing up. And a bit like the England shirt, which has three lines, this has the United States there. Here's our tag. Nike USA. Move to zero with our plastic tag on it. But again, stitching looks absolutely spot on. move down to the bottom again to just take the hemline which looks perfect really nice okay so there we have it the usa world cup 22 qatar shirt from fc 24 store the shirt absolutely fantastic like i said the quality of these ones is outstanding it really is but it's definitely one of my go-to sellers. It's a shame they didn't have the player version, which is the reason I went for the fan one. Um, I would have liked to have had a player spec one, but sometimes the fan ones are just as good. So all in all, really, really happy with this purchase. And like I said, quality, amazing. So if you want to know all the details of the seller, that can be found in the description. You can leave some comments, questions or messages below. I'll always respond whether it's around this show or any others you've seen me review or any you'd like me to review in the future. I'd like to hear what you guys want to see. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button as I do these reviews on a weekly basis. I've got quite a lot of videos now that have been uploaded and we've also got a massive backlog of videos to get through as well. So I think at the moment I've pretty much got a video that will go live every weekend up until I think it's the end of January now. So, yeah, we've got a lot of videos to come. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. So hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.